Here is how to become a VTuber on TikTok Live for free. And we'll go back to the real Harry just to explain the requirements for this. So this is for TikTok Live computer streamers. So to live stream, you usually need at least a mid-range Windows PC, a gaming laptop, or a decent Apple Mac. You need a stream key, which you can get from a free to join agency. It's easier than you think. I'll put a link in the description or you need access to Live Studio. I'll put a link to apply for that access if you don't have it in the description as well. I'll show you during the video how we can get VTube Studio for free. And to use that, you need either a webcam or a smartphone. I'll be using this webcam. And of course, you need the TikTok live streaming software, OBS or Live Studio. I'll show that as well. And the cat you just saw is a default model in VTube Studio. But if you want your own model, I'll show you how to get those later as well. All right, let's start on DenchiSoft.com. I'll put it in the description and click get it on Steam. This is the only way to download it on Apple or Windows. Once you've installed it on Steam, just press the launch button. And if you keep getting pop-ups, don't forget, click don't show anything and OK. And I've disappeared because VTube Studio needs access to my webcam. If you have OBS or Live Studio open, as well as VTube Studio, close them all and then open VTube Studio first. So let's go through some important settings. So I'm going to click on the settings icon on the left. If you can't see it, you might have to double click your screen. And I'm going to start by clicking on camera in the top left corner. As you can see, I've got a face tracker enabled. Let me show you how to enable that. So firstly, top right corner, click on choose camera and I'm going to choose the correct camera. And I'm going to set my camera to 1920 by 1080 and either 30 or 60 FPS as a minimum. And I've only got one option on the color format, so I'll select that. Level 5 tracking quality seems to work fine. I haven't tried the top two. Give them a go if you want. And let's click on tracking type. And I'm going to go face and hand tracking. And if your model is not moving, and I'll show you how to change the model later, that's because we haven't pressed the camera on button. So we'll enable that. And it usually suggests you just move around, move your face around for just a few seconds to kind of get the thing calibrated. I'm also going to move my hands. You can see my hands have now been detected at the bottom. I'll move some of my fingers as well. So it looks like that is working great. And of course, if you move your hands out of the camera shot like I've done, it will say signal lost, but don't worry, that's fine. Now, there is a lot of other settings on this page. Let's scroll down near to the bottom and we want to make sure that the virtual webcam is activated this is going to be used by live studio or obs to access youtube studio it could be worth you playing around with some of the other settings but you don't need to and i haven't changed any of them before we head to this model settings page, let's click the X in the top right corner and actually look at how to select a model. And as it's saying, double tap to get the settings back. And to choose your model, I'm going to click the person icon in the top left corner. It looks like you've got a selection of two female models and three animals as a default. So I've gone with this Tororo one, but you can see you can pick any of the models or you can click import your own models and you can click on open folder and it's going to show you where to put any new models that you've got. How do you get a VTuber model? Well, of course, if you want a decent one, you will have to pay for one. So I recommend two places for this. Firstly is Etsy. I'll put an affiliate link for Etsy, which will support my channel in the description. And likewise, you can also get VTuber models of varying prices from Fiverr as well. I'll also put a Fiverr affiliate link in the description if you want your own custom model. I'll also put a more detailed guide on importing models into VTube Studio in the description as well. Anyway, once you've got your model imported, let's click back onto settings and onto the model settings here. It's the third one along in the top left corner. And all I'm going to do is press the auto setup button, click on auto setup again, press OK. And now if we just scroll through all these settings, these should be decent settings for my cat model. Now let's click on the settings icon in the top left corner and go through this page. And typically there's not too much that you need to change here. But I do recommend you check the use microphone box, click on microphone and select the correct microphone. This should just make sure the model's mouth is moving better and click on lip sync type. And I'm going to use the advanced lip sync and press select. And again, this should just ensure that the lips are moving more accurately. 
Again, you can play around with any of these other settings, but I found I don't really have to change much. So again, before we come out the settings, just click the camera icon and make sure the virtual webcam's enabled. That's the most important one. I'll click the X in the top right corner. I'll double click on the screen again, and I'm gonna click on the picture icon on the left. And for me, background eight was this green background. It's important that we have this green background because we're gonna remove it using Live Studio or OBS. Just quickly, if you wanna join over 2000 people getting the latest tips and tricks to monetize and grow their live streams, then I have a free newsletter called Live Success. It is in the description. Right, so let's set up Live Studio and I'll briefly show OBS as well. So once you're inside Live Studio, I'm gonna use compatibility mode, but you can use any of the modes in the top left corner that you want. I'm gonna click on add source. I'm gonna choose the camera option. I'll sync it to portrait if you're in compatibility mode. And underneath camera, we don't want this camera. We want the VTube Studio Cam. And we need to change a few settings. We need to find 1920 by 1080. There it is. And I'll put the FPS on the maximum available for me, which is 60. All of these other settings should be fine. But crucially, we want to check the green screen option. And by default, as long as you've got it clicked onto green, it should look great. So I'll now press add source. I'll click on camera on the left and I'll click the button to stretch. Likewise, I'll click on it in portrait mode. It's already actually stretched it, so I don't need to do anything there. You can see we've got this person moving in the bottom left corner. So let's crop her out. So I'm going to hold Alt and drag the square to crop. And likewise, we've got a bit of black space at the bottom. So I'm going to hold Alt and drag up. And actually, we have to do that in all the corners. So let's just crop all the corners like that. And of course, you can click on it on the left and then drag it around to resize it and drag the corners as well to resize if you want. Now, what you saw at the start of the video I did, I added another source and I added a video in the background. You could also choose to add an image in the background. I think a lot of people will just be gaming from their PC. So let me show you that as well. Click on add source. The simplest thing is display capture. So press add. I'll choose my third display. I'll capture my cursor and I'll press add source. And make sure the display captures at the bottom of the list. You might have to drag it up or down a bit. And unfortunately, this latest live studio is a bit buggy. So you might have to play around with it a bit to get it actually viewable inside the portrait mode. If not, just leave compatibility mode and use only landscape or portrait. And then of course, when you're happy, you just resize your VTuber down and put it on the part of the screen that you want it. So this is a common setup I see for both landscape and portrait. You just put the VTuber in the bottom right corner. In the portrait mode, the chat is in the bottom left corner and people often put some sort of Tickfinity goal or image at the top of the portrait mode. Now I'll put a longer live studio guide in the description, but let's just quickly check the settings. These are decent live streaming settings and also check the audio settings as well. Make sure you add your primary microphone and add your desktop audio in. Right, let's quickly look at OBS as well. You can do this in both Atom Vertical, which is on the right, and with regular OBS, which is on the left. Click on add source, find the video capture device option, I'll name mine VTube Studio and I'll press OK. And then from this drop down list, again, I need to change this camera to the VTube Studio Cam. I'll go Custom Resolution. Underneath Resolution, there's many of them, but 1920 by 1080 and 60 FPS. And I'll press OK. Like with Live Studio, I need to click on the source, hold Alt to both drag out the flying character and also crop out the parts which are black. So I'll do that now. And then of course, we need to right click filter and add the chroma key. So it's an effect filter. So press the plus button, click on chroma key, press OK. And the green default options should be great. As you can see, it's been removed. So again, you can click on it to move it around. You can drag the corners to resize it. And once again, if you're using it in vertical, you can press the plus button, video capture device. If you've already got it added in landscape, you just click on it to add it. If not, just add it as a new source. And you once again have to crop it and move it around to position it where you want. I'll put longer guides for both Live Studio and OBS on screen now.